East Memphis. Everything price-wise is going through the roof. And Memphis Mom Wreaths on Etsy. Oh, our sales will be lower. Um, it probably to the tune of 20 to 30 percent, you know, maybe a little bit more. These five small business owners trying hard not to let supply chain issues be the Grinch that stole Christmas. This year, you've got the people and then not the merchandise. Kim Derryberry, owner of Side Alley Gifts, has thousands of dollars in merchandise stranded on cargo ships. Jill Troutman's wreath making business relies on ribbon made overseas. It comes from Korea and Taiwan. It is sitting on boats in the Port of Houston and the Port of Los Angeles. U.S. Representative David Kustoff introduced legislation addressing the shortage of chassis, the special trailers needed to move shipping containers. It directs the Department of Transportation to ask a private company to develop a chassis sharing model near rail ramps in Memphis. My bill will encourage collaboration between logistics stakeholders, says Kustoff, to help modernize provisioning and increase freight capacity. More importantly, it will allow the private sector to step into this process and help enhance the movement of freight in the Memphis region. Worker shortages and meatpacking plants are impacting Ernie Meller's business. You can't get all the cuts of meat, and I'm, I'm talking about proteins such as beef, and even chicken. Mid-South merchants forced to get creative in order to do business during the COVID-19 pandemic. Things sit out in the ocean, you know, it may show up in January, February, so that may be next year's Christmas. Who knows? Hmm. Well, Representative Kustoff's bill is supported by the American Trucking Association and the Association of Railroads. Senators Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee and Roger Wicker of Mississippi introduced the same legislation in the U.S. Senate. We'll keep you